Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today is all about Hello Kitty. I know it's a little bit random, but I do have quite of a collection. I have liked her since I was in grade school, and ever since then I've collected a lot of items throughout the year. So actually this past weekend I added two bottles of wine. One is Pinot Noir and then the other one is Pinot Grigio. A white wine and a red wine so I'm gonna go ahead and try these out and I'm so excited to keep the bottles because I mean I'm not gonna throw these away so if you want to see my Hello Kitty collection just keep on watching all right but first we're gonna open up this baby up this is a Pinot Grigio and I went to my local liquor store Vendome Liquors down the street I don't think I've ever tried Pinot Grigio before just a little bit Two shots of vodka. I've gone wine tasting before and that went to Megula and I felt so bougie like mixing the wine. It tastes better if you swirl it. Oh, that's wrong. Okay, the second sip isn't so bad. So before I end up a hot mess on this video, let's just go ahead and jump right into all my collection. A lot of my things that I have were hand-me-downs from a family friend, Victoria. Pretty awesome girl and when I was younger, I, my mom couldn't really afford much of the things that they sold in Sanrio because as you guys know, if you guys are Hello Kitty fans, she's expensive, okay? So she was gifting me her old Hello Kitty items, so shout out to her. Very beautiful inside and out. So one of the things that she gifted me, which I was so amazed because I, I wanted this, was a Hello Kitty piggy bank. Have it up in my closet just as a collectible item now. Another thing she gifted me was this awesome Hello Kitty makeup case. It's like hella old school. You flip it out. All the makeup in here is just pretty old makeup I haven't thrown out. Oh look, I have a brand new cur eyelash curler. Yeah, this was pretty cool considering the fact that it was purple. Purple back in the day was my color and um, it's Hello Kitty so double yes. Alright this next item was gifted to me by my mom. I want to say either fifth or sixth grade and I only used it like once or twice because I didn't want to ruin it. Look how cute this is. It's a very fluffy purple zip up folder and it has a zipper up here. And then my mom ended up going to TJ. She got me this big ol' Hello Kitty. <laughs> this is also a, a piggy bank. Guess if you want to take money out of it, you have to break it because there's no hole down here. Pero es la Hello Kitty Mexicana. Speaking of piggy banks, my friend Yareli gifted me this day back in 2012, 2012, 13. Another collectible. I have passed down a lot of like shirts that I've outgrown and just other little things to my nieces. So. One year in high school, I remember my boyfriend took me to get a Build-A-Bear. Her name is Valentine, because it was on Valentine's Day. I chose her Hello Kitty outfit. I don't know where her other little slippers at. Oh, so sweet. I also have journals. I've used a few. I was always that type of kid that I didn't want to use things because I wanted to store them away, even though I really liked them. I have stickers. I also have a toaster my brother gifted me and it's so cute because you put the bread in the toaster and then on one side it actually prints her face. It is a little older because it has to almost burn in order for her face to pop up in the bread. Some rings. I have this jewel decoration that I could put on my car. That I used to have a Hello Kitty plate. I also had a steering wheel protector. Took that off as well. I have this fan. Some old ass paletas that Brian gifted me one year. I never ate them, as you can tell. I have this cute little radio, but it's so sad because it stopped working. So I plan on fixing this sometime. I mean, this would come in handy one day. Old as wallet. Pretty much anything you can think of. Most recently, my sister gifted me my Hello Kitty Alex and Ani for Christmas. Little notepad so I could write my my secrets. I have a pack of gel pens that I got at the Target dollar section. I haven't opened them. Little notepads, notebooks, a pencil. 
with the new racer at the top. I got tissue paper that I have as decoration. More notebooks, notepads that I think they're too cute to use. More stickers to add on my car. I did this years ago as a bookmark, seventh, eighth grade. I drew her. I'm telling you, been obsessed. What a weirdo. But you know what? Some people collect shoes, collect makeup, collect movies, video games. I happen to collect. Hello Kitty things. Keychain where she's wearing this little Hawaiian skirt and some flowers on her chichis to make bubbles. This was actually on top of my cake one year and I kept it, obviously. Some band-aids, one to be exact. I have a calendar I never wrote in from back in 2004. Valentine's Day card that says too little D from your girl, whoever your girl is, but thank you. There's also a pack in here that I bought and I never like handed them out. Some Hello Kitty tags from clothing that I would buy. I'd carefully take them off so I could keep these. So yeah, I have a bunch of stuff like that in, in this Hello Kitty box that I got one year. I also have a lot of watches, but the first one was this one from my boyfriend. And then I also got this one. It's a pink Hello Kitty watch. Just need to get new batteries for them. I also had this black one, but I only have the face now. I don't know what happened to, to the actual bands. Some hand sanitizer. Another paleta that I never ate, so now I have two. A Hello Kitty mirror. I also have this little tin container. I think there was mints in here. I don't even remember, but I just kept it because I like to put little things in here. Like this one, for example, I had lip candy, whatever that is. But I like to keep all of my SDs in here so that I know exactly where they're at. I also have this little keychain I could put on my phone. Keychain that broke. I found Valentine's other sock. What's going with your socks, girl? Yay, now she has two. Pop Hello Kitty collectible. Little stuffed animals that I've had for the past. This one I think is the longest one I've had. Yeah, I think this was one of the first ones. Actually, my sister's first. She gave it down to me because she knew I liked her so much. And then my friend Monica gave me this for a birthday one year. So cute, I still have her. And then I have this other one. This one's really cute. I like the pink and the black. I've had cobijas, I've had blankets, I've had like pillows, but they kind of got all ugly throughout the year, so I did throw those away. So I do have all of these. So yeah. And then one year my mom gave us some of these robes. I have some old ass purses from when I was uh, like in junior high. I have this really fluffy one and this one could actually go very well as in el pat it goes really well with this folder since they're both both made out of the same material this was my first hello kitty purse and i think we got this at marshall's one no not marshall's what's that other store mervyn's and then this one my sister gave me I have pjs I have these other ones i've had these for a long time I just refuse to get rid of them. I have these little non-slip slippers. I'm actually gonna put them on right now because my feet are cold. I have some more Hello Kitty socks, more non-slip slippers, Hello Kitty socks, jelly beans that I never opened. They're still in the wrapper, but I'm pretty sure they're bad now. I mean, I could have ate the jelly beans inside or, and then just kept the box, but they're still in there. Coin purse, it has a little zipper. A makeup bag, I have a hair clip key holders. I have another little jangle bangle thing that I can put on my keys or phone. Lip balm. I should probably throw that away already. I have another little hair clip. Ooh, that's cute. I have another makeup bag. This one's a little bit bigger. A few Hello Kitty rings. I put one on already. A keychain that I bought at, at an AutoZone years ago when I got my first car. Hello Kitty magnet that I should probably put on my fridge. Bath bomb that I plan on using, psych. I have another little zip up wallet. I think this was the last one that I bought. It's like a cooler one, it's like a jean. It has a little pocket. Oh, it's in here. An old ass Q-tip, nice. Now this one right here, this was my first Hello Kitty um, wallet. It's very plasticky. And I remember carrying it everywhere with me even though I didn't have any money. And yeah, it has a little pocket in here. Me and my sister. I have another little notepad, another watch. 
I have an old school nail polish that is dried up already and new school nail polish. This is from OPI in the color Five Apples Tall. Pretty nice red. I have this Hello Kitty bracelet. Let's see, I'm gonna put this on. Damn, look at my my wrist is full of ice. Ice, 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 ice. A keychain that I could put on my, my keys full of rhinestones. And then there's a mirror inside here, so cute. I also have this little pin. I don't even know where I got this from, but you just pretty much put it on anywhere. Let's put Hello Kitty's pin on my Hello Kitty sweater. It's super crooked with some pieces missing, so let's just take her off. I also have these little Hello Kitty pins. A Hello Kitty necklace full of rhinestones. I have a Hello Kitty mug. I got this at Walmart. Hello Kitty purse, like, it's like a Hawaiian reusable bag. All right, we're getting here to the end of my stockpile items. One of the most recent things that I bought was a makeup collection that ColourPop did with Hello Kitty. I was so excited to get this because I don't have any Hello Kitty makeup. It came in this really cute packaging. It has actually two Super Shock Cheek Pearlized highlighters and I'm actually wearing this one over here which is called Yummy Cookies. Over here, this one's called Fun with Friends. This is more on the pinkier side. In this collection, we also got three eyeshadows. This is called Bento Box. This is like a metallic gray. Let me swatch these for you guys. The next one is Juicy Apple, which is this like champagne almost color. Can't even tell. And then this last one is called Sticker Sheet. Man, I don't know if they're dried. They're not They're not swatching. The collection also came with two lipstick, or one lipstick and one lip gloss. This one's all gone. This red one is called a Ribbon, and it's like a bright red color. I also kept the cup, an extra cup actually, from when we went to the Irvine Hello Kitty Cafe. The only time we went was when it was a pop-up shop and now they actually have a cafe there. Tea time, it's so cute. I've seen the menu, you have to like make reservations and all of that. But with all of this quarantine thing going on, obviously that's impossible. So I do want to film my first experience there because I think that's, I think that's fun. You know, getting ready to go to a Hello Kitty Cafe have some tea, have some alcoholic beverages, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much my entire collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you do have a collection, let me know what your collection is in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh yeah, P.S. I want to thank everybody for helping me reach 200 subscribers. I know it's not a lot, but to me it is. Even though it has taken me a while, here we are. So, cheers!